It's amazing how easy it is to stand here and tell the truth. And that's what we're all doing today. It's no different, you, me, I've just got a microphone in my hand. But the facts come streaming into your brain because it is a disgrace. Sick and tired of people saying it's a complicated issue in the Middle East. I've had enough of hearing that. It's a complicated issue that's been going on for years. The simple fact is there is an oppressor and there is an oppressed. And people need to understand it is that black and white on the West Bank. It is that simple in Gaza. And is that simple for Palestinians? Let's look at the fact that Israel denied Palestinians existence. They denied it even existed. Take a look around. Take a look around, Zionists. It's pretty clear today that Palestine exists, doesn't it? Yes! Palestine's not going anywhere, is it? No! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Long live Palestine! Long live Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Long live Palestine! Long live Palestine! Out, out, Israel out! Out, out, Israel out! Out, out, Israel out! Out, out, Israel out! Let's send a message to the current government of this country. Abbott, Bishop, blood on your hands. 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 Abbot, Bishop, on your hands. That's right, it comes all the way home. It may be a long way away, the, the West Bank. It may be a long way away in the Middle East. But to Aboriginal people and to everyone here today, we can see the connections. We're talking about genocide. It's not complicated, it's simple, and it's a disgrace. War crime after war crime, occupation after occupation, more and more houses being demolished in the name of some kind of US-backed geopolitical state. They use all sorts of excuses. They use all sorts of false history, red flag events. They try to distract us from the issue, but the issue is that women and children are being torn limb from limb. Women and children are dying in their homes and they've got nowhere to run. Nowhere to run. Because they have been fenced in by a massive concrete wall. Families being torn apart. Children being torn apart from their families. Whole communities being separated. Denied their humanity. Because they have to go through a checkpoint to get to work. To get some food. To visit someone who may have just been... To have, a, have had a baby. Who may have just born the next generation of Palestinian freedom fighters because that's what's happening. They will never kill the Palestinian people. <laughs> Who's the terrorist? Israel! Who's the terrorist? Israel! Who's the terrorist? Israel! Who's the terrorist? Israel! I can't say it enough. 6 p.m. next Friday, State Library, same place we met today. That's the next action. And with no opposition from the state of this country, the fact is this state, the Australian government and the opposition support Zionism. That is a fact. And it's a harsh fact to realise in this day and age. But it comes from a history of genocide. Of course the Australian state supports genocide. That's what they did to get... What are you looking at? What are you looking at? How did we build this? We're going to defend the right of Indigenous people, wherever they are. Wherever they are. The right of Indigenous people to have their land. And that starts at home and then it continues all the way to the West Bank. Am I right? Yes! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Long live Palestine! Long live Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Out, out, Israel out! Out, out, Israel out! I'm more interested in making some noise for the Palestinian people, the freedom oh. fighters! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Out, out, Israel out! out, out. at 6 o'clock next Friday. Out, out, Israel out. 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 Out, out, Israel out.